Number four, consider a line y equals f of x that contains the point p, negative 3, comma 2, and is also perpendicular to the line shown. Which point lies on the line y equals f of x? So we first have to find the line y equals f of x. So the way we can do that is using the point slope equation. We know that this line goes through this point p, and we know that it has a slope perpendicular to this line. So we can first find the slope of this line. So let's see, if we use these two points, we can find the slope relatively easily. So let's see, our slope is just change in y over change in x. We can see that from these two points, we go from negative 2 to 4, so our change in y is 6. And then we also go from x equals 0 to x equals 8, so our change in x is 8. It gives us a slope of 3 fourths. So the perpendicular slope is just the negative reciprocal. So the perpendicular slope would just be negative 4 thirds. Okay, so once we have this and we have our point, we can use point slope to find the equation of y equals f of x. So if we have a slope of negative 4 thirds and the point negative 3 comma 2, then point slope will tell us that our equation will be y minus 2 equals negative 4 thirds times x plus 3. And then for the sake of the problem, I'm just going to move the 2 over to the right-hand side. So now we can just work on plugging these in. Um, a lot of times, they like to choose answers that are at the end, because most, most of them expect you to work these in order. So I'm actually going to try E first and see if that works. So if I do E, and I'll plug 6 in for x, so 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 times 4 thirds is 12, and then it'd be negative 12 because you have negative 4 thirds, plus 2 gives you negative 10. So it looks like our answer is just going to be E. All right, so if you have any questions from other tests, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll make a video with a solution. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. This has been Investigative Math, and I will see you next time.